Let's further strengthen our understanding of the topic relations by solving this problem. Here's the problem. We have defined a relationship R on the set N of natural numbers by, and here's the definition, R is equal to, and this is the set, this has these ordered pairs x comma y such that y is equals to x plus 5, x is a natural number less than 4, and x and y belong to n. These are the things that we know. I know it's a, there's a lot going on and we'll break it down. So what do we need to do? First, we need to depict this using roster form. This is written in set builder and we'll convert it into roster form. And we need to find the domain and range of this relation. Now, before you pause the video to try and solve this, one quick clarification. What does on the set n means? What is the relationship R on the set n? Usually the relationship is from a set to another set. But what is on the set n? Well, that's just another way of saying that the relationship is from the set n to the same set n. Relationship on a set A is another way to say that the relationship is from the same set A to itself, set A. It saves a few words, but sometimes causes a lot of confusion. What it really means is we're picking the values of x and y from the list of natural numbers. That's all it means. Both x and y will be natural numbers. Okay, now you can pause the video and try this on your own. Before we solve a quick refresher, suppose this is our relation from set A to set B. The elements that are related together form some specific groups and we have names for them. So for this set, the horse, the zebra, the frog and the fish, these are related the dragon and the unicorn are not. So these four are called the domain. Domain is a set of all first elements in the relation. What about set B? Well, we have land and water that are related. Air is not. So land and water together form range. That's the set of all second elements in the relation. And I know it's not asked in the question, but just to clarify, co-domain is the entire set B. That's going to be land, water, and air, all three of them. Okay, so let's jump to our problem. This is a problem, this is a relation. We have this ordered pair x and y, and y is equals to x plus y, this is the relation. This is a condition on x, and x and y both are natural numbers. Okay, let's look at it more closely. y equals to x plus y. This is the heart of the relation. This is how we'll move from x to y. If we know x, we can put that value here and find y. And what about this? x is a natural number less than four, well, this is putting a condition on x. This is not letting all the natural numbers play. This is saying, you know what? If you're more, if you're four or more than four, you're not allowed for this relation. So this will give us the domain of x. We'll talk more about it. And what about y belongs to natural numbers? Well, that's going to be the codomain. So what are domain and codomain? Uh, the natural numbers that are less than four domain, that's one, two, and three. There are only three natural numbers that are less than four. And the codomain is basically the entire set that's allowed. That's why it belongs to natural numbers. That's going to be one, two, three, four, and so on. That's our codomain. Okay, so let's put our domain and codomain on the map. We have x, one, two, and three. And then we have y, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Okay, what is the relation? The relation is between these elements, one, two, and three, to some of these elements. If we try plugging in values, if you plug in one, what do we get? X equals to one will give us Y equals to one plus five, that's six. So this means one is related to six. One comma six, this ordered pair is part of the relation. So that's our first ordered pair. If you put in two, we get two plus five equals to seven. So two and seven are related. And then similarly, three and eight are related. We won't get any other value because we only have these three for X. This means that six, seven, and eight together form the range of this relation. So we have the domain and we have the range. We actually forgot to write this using the roster form. So let's do that. So R is equal to put in brackets and put in our ordered pairs. Don't forget the commas. The first will be one comma six, second will be two comma seven, and third will be three comma eight. And that's how you figure out the domain, range, codomain. That's how you convert from the set builder form to the roster form.